Hi everyone, Jeanette Byro here. I am a medium and a channeler. And today we're talking about soul contracts because this is a great follow-up to the Kindred Souls video that I did. And it was actually my guides this morning that were like, you know what would really help is if people understood the concept of soul contracts. And although we have talked about it before in the blueprint, they were saying the reason why it's important to talk about soul contracts right now is because they are up for renegotiation, basically. So then, of course, I said, okay, tell me more. I'm really excited about this. And here's what they had to say. So before you were born, you agreed to take part in certain experiences. Again, you wrote your blueprint with your guides, with other people, and you came to agreements of certain things, certain destiny points, pivotal points in your life, as well as pivotal connections with people. Now, here's the thing. This is where it gets really interesting. Now that we've hit 2022... 2022 and for those that have really gone in and done the work they know thyself or they are getting to know thyself they're resonating with who they are they're standing in their truths the contracts that were really set in stone before now are up for renegotiation now the reason being is that many people have come into more consciousness more conscious ability to critically think, to realize their connection with all things, realize where they wish to create more change in the world. And a lot of that ability starts with self. So it starts within, then it moves to the next layer of like relationships, environments just outside of us, and then it grows exponentially from there. So what's happening is for those, like I said, that have really gotten to know self, clean up stuff on the inside, now have an ability to really shift dynamics outside of them. And so this is where some soul contracts are starting to shift based on the intent that we're setting. So for example, if you're seeing a repeated pattern, say with a person in your life, and you're really tired of this pattern, or it no longer serves you, maybe that's a better way to say it. What you'll find is if you start adding your intent to releasing that and viewing it as a soul contract that now you feel you have fulfilled your purpose, you've completed everything you need, thank you so much, thank you for the learning, I release it, then you'll start to find that you can actually be resetting more of those soul contract pieces. You can be more in control of co-creating what now becomes your destiny. Because consciousness equals power. And I'm not talking egoistic power of dominance or anything like that, but it is the power to truly co-create. So that even comes down to soul contracts. So again, Spirit's whole reason for bringing this up was to remind you to look at things with a more expansive mind at this point. And the things that you see that no longer resonate, even if you feel like, oh, you know, it must be part of my soul contract, must be part of my soul de uh, destiny. Those are coming up for review. So you have so much value in what you say, think, and feel. And that is to be expressed to the spirit world, to the universe, so that they can then help co-create with you a new design for you going forward. Every time we make leaps and bounds in our growth, we can negotiate or shift more to basically paint the path that we want. So this is a beautiful thing. So that's why they wanted to share. So I hope that inspires you guys today to kind of look at what's coming up for review in your life and where you can change it and to recognize that your desire for what you want to change is so important. You're not just stuck with one thing. You can start to help to create a different way of being should you want it. Now for you, if it comes up that you're really happy with your soul contracts, there isn't anything you would want to change, then revel in that. Be grateful, be glorious for that. That means things are working. There isn't anything to change at this point, and that's a good thing. That means you can just take that momentum and keep going forward. You can reiterate the bounty of what those soul contracts are bringing you and carry on. So again, I hope this helps inspire you guys. If you want to do more deep dives, do check out avalonspirit.com as well as the Jeanette Biro podcast. I'll see you soon.